Well, there's only one king of Rio de Janeiro, and you are looking at him, Jose Aldo, making the walk here for yet another big, high-profile UFC fight. One, if not the greatest featherweight of all time is Jose Aldo. Not often do I get starstruck, but to watch Aldo make the walk in Rio is truly a one-of-a-lifetime experience. I'm glad I got to do it. He is a star of the highest order. Aldo's title run was something to behold. It was so special. Oh, yeah. Every time you watched him, you knew that the fight could end at any moment, and you knew that you were watching one of the most skilled fighters across the board. And the reason, the primary reason most believe he is the best featherweight of all time, seven successful defenses to your point in that first reign as the UFC featherweight. So here's Muhammad Ali making the walk to the octagon with much fanfare. A lot of people thought this moment would never materialize. I don't believe it. You know, when people talk about the GOAT, it's always a conversation with people having opinions. Very rarely do you get a person almost universally considered the greatest of all time. That is what you get in Muhammad Ali when people talk about boxing. The guy has unbelievable hand speed, footwork, but it'll be his takedown defense that will allow him to find success inside the octagon. We're about to find out what the greatest can do, John, in an eight-sided cage. And you're right, most heavyweights in this division are gonna test his takedown defense, but plus athlete doesn't even begin to describe it. We'll see how it goes for Ali here tonight. The greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali, has stepped inside the octagon. He is ready to fight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Jose Aldo Jr. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Heavyweight Champion of the World, Muhammad Ali! One of the best in the business, Herb Dean is our referee tonight. Good. As popular as any Brazilian fighter on the roster, you see the flags in the arena, the crowd is here for Jose Aldo Jr., another big spot for the former UFC Featherweight Champion tonight. Nice jab. Good jab there by the champion. You know what's crazy? It was like in MMA back in the day, guys didn't jab enough. It was all power shots. Now you see guys well more educated with that jab in that front hand. Oh, strike lands cleanly there, champ. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Ali. Back to the hook now. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Trying the flying knee there. There, I, I feel. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Another hook lands there by Alou. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, oh, strong hook to the head there by Alou. 
Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Straight right is there. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Aldo. 90 seconds to go. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. And that one certainly found the target. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Thirty seconds to go. Twenty seconds to go. Oh, big right hand, yes. Reach the end of round one. Great job out there. Your cardio is insane. All those sprints, all the conditioning we did in the gym has really proven itself. That is your key to victory. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round ready. two is underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let them this might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. All right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. There it is again. Look at that. He's wobbling now. Oh, a big right hand. That punch was deflected. Nicely done. Well, if you are a young striker, you could do a lot worse than watching this guy work on the feet, perhaps trying to set up another hook here. Yes, he is. He's definitely trying to set up another hook. You can tell by his eyes. He's taking peeks. He's sneaking. Oh, this is why you pay to be in the building. Back and forth we go. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has won. His opponent recovered. As his opponent postures up, he opens it. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, heavy shots raining down. Master shot lands. It's over, John. Fight's done. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. This is where he wants to be. That was a slick transition. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the ball. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Kobe Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. 
he is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. All right, All right. All right that's the end of round number two. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like it's on the nose. Right. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs the strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Hurt him with a left hook, yep. Oh, oh, now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beat Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. Oh, huge left. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, he dove and he lands. Wow! Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Aldo's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, feet on the hips here. Three minutes to go in round three. And he is back up to his feet. Right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 17 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad So the celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career, knocks out the number one contender with style points to retain his heavyweight